Hi everyone, in this video I'll walk you through how to set up our Unity SDK with our Access Studio software. Make sure you go to our downloads page and locate the plugin under the plugins section here. You'll find the latest version on this page. We've already downloaded the plugin, so let's jump into Unity so that we can add the asset to our project here. So go to Assets, Import Package, click on Custom Package, click on the plugin and click on Open. Here, it'll ask you to import a couple of files here that are included with the plugin. And we will want to import them all. Click import. Now we'll see that we have a Noido folder added to our project here. Let's move over to Access Studio so we can start streaming BBH data. We have a mocap take already open for us. So we'll go into the main menu, settings, locate BBH broadcasting. We have options to stream connected hardware from our capture section here or from the edit option here which is going to be pre-recorded data since we have pre-recorded data we're going to enable the edit function here we have also a couple of options that we can select from in the skeleton we're going to select access studio skeleton and enable displacement if you're using our access studio robot or any character has been set up with that skeleton if you're using Mixamo characters, you want to select Access Studio Thumb Open and disable displacement. This also applies for any other characters that have a standard T pose. Now we're going to enable TCP and also use a local host address since we're streaming from the same computer. And we're going to keep in mind the port number 7003. So we'll click OK and we're going to play back the data and loop it. In Unity, let's begin setting up our scene. We'll create an empty object. Name this Neuron Source Manager. Make sure it's selected and add a component. Again, type in Neuron Source and we'll see that we have the component Neuron Source Manager available. Once you click that, we have now network options that are available for us. We have the local host that we have from Access Studio set up and the port number 7003. Make sure this reflects the same settings that you have on Access Studio. Now, we're ready to set up and import our character. We have a Mixamo character we're going to be using for this video. We'll select this character and we have that information here to our right side. And we need to make sure that this character is set up as a humanoid under the rig options. So we'll change from generic to humanoid. We'll click on apply. Once that's complete, we'll click on configure. And this is just to confirm and make sure that the character is in a proper T pose which is a big requirement for this plugin. We'll click on done. And now we're ready to drag, click and drag this character to our scene. We'll select a character and add a component, Neuron Transform Instance. Here we'll see that the, we have a couple of drop down options here. We have the source and the target data that we have available on our plugin. We can now click on bind and because our character in this case Mixamo is using a human IK naming convention, all the information matches correctly from left to right. You can also manually select the different bones if you need to for your character. However, this makes it much easier if your character is in a human IK naming convention. So everything checks out. If we scroll down, we can also isolate different bones that we don't want to use for the stream. However, everything is property setup. So now we have one more step left to go. We need to make sure that this character is a child of the source manager. So we'll click and drag this under the source manager that we have here. And we're ready to start receiving data. If we click on the play button here, we'll see that we have the character receiving data from Access Studio. So that completes this video on how to stream the data from Access Studio to Unity.